Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review on this automatic center punch that I picked up from Harbor Freight. This is item number 62141. These retail for $4.99. They're on sale for $2.99. I applied a 25% off coupon so I picked this up for $2.24 plus tax out the door. Not too bad. This is actually my second one. My first one you can see here is in shambles and I'm missing the actual point because my daughter made off with it but it quit firing on me and I've had it for two or three years now and I went to take it apart to investigate that and somebody set up the machinery wrong these are actually left handed threads on this that they cut on there and they're not supposed to be or there's no reason for them to be these are typically would be right handed threads so I was having difficulty getting it apart so I just ended up destroying it so I went out and bought another one and it works just fine but I'm gonna take it apart and show you how it works because it's pretty fascinating how they work or actually ingenious I'll just break the components out here So this is basically it in a nutshell. Uh, the first part that you would have going in here is your actual point that would strike a center. Simply goes in there like that. When you start pushing down on it, it in turn pushes on this piece right here. And you can see how this spring is offset. And that's so it shoves it up at an angle through a hole in the bottom of this. And once you reach the bottom of that, it will straighten it out but before it straightens out it's going to push on this hammer right here and there's a hole in it and it will be offset pushing against it and as soon as that straightens out it will fall down in this hole like so so as you're pushing it up it's putting tension on this larger spring right here and once it centers up it will acquire the blow and transmit it out through the front very very simple ingenious design there and it works extremely well so I'll just simply put it back together and if you want to adjust the force of the strike you just simply loosen up this back end so all the way in would be its maximum strike and if you're hitting too hard you can back it off and once you get it set to wherever you want, I usually just leave it all in, it will produce an accurate set on each hole you do a center punch on. Now this is not necessarily for marking deep holes, this is just to get you started. So depending on the size of bit you're using to drill a hole, this, that, and the other, you might want to set it with one of these and come back with a standard center punch and deepen your hole or if you're off a little bit, if you're trying to hit some crosshairs, uh, you can maybe take a manual punch and walk that back into your center point if you're a little bit off and drill extremely accurate holes that way. So it does work well. I'm gonna break out some scrap materials out here and show you how well it punches. Uh, but for the money, you can't go wrong and it's a great tool to have. Like I said, I've had this one for couple years or better it's never done me wrong until I destroyed it after it quit firing and the problem with it not firing on the old one after I took it apart or broke it apart there's a little burr that was sticking up right around this hole I just simply needed to knock that burr off because it was not allowing this to get down in that hole to hit it was catching up on a burr and it wasn't hammering so this one seems to be pretty good in that regard in terms of its machinery on the inside maybe a tiny burr in there and I think I will take that off with a little bit of wet and dry sandpaper so I don't have to mess with it later
All right, well, I've drug out a few materials here. This is a 60, 61 T6 aluminum rectangle, uh, some 360 hex brass, and this is a big block of 12014 steel. So I'm just going to set a, a punch on the end of each of them so you can see how it is. But you just push down on it, just like so. So hopefully you can see the punch mark I just made right here. It's not extremely deep, but like I said, if you want to deepen it, you can come back in with a manual punch, or you might even hit it again. So let me hit it again and see what it does. It did deepen it a bit. And it deepened it quite a bit more. And the brass, you know, you would get the same result on that. Of course, the 12014. So, it is a great tool to have. And this is just a matter of a couple of bucks. You know, you can't really compare this to a Sterrett. Uh, you know, for who knows how much. But, it seems to work well. And the one that I have used for a couple of years, I got no deformation on the point. It just worked. So, I highly recommend picking one of these up. I can't speak uh, how well it works for like sheet metal or things like that, but I think on a mild gauge sheet metal, you may be able to punch all the way through it. So, all in all, just a little bit of information. Thanks for watching, and good luck.